Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate the two different punch-down tools that we uh, offer on our website and uh, that you may be interested in. Um, here are examples. This is a, a um, punch-down tool that you would use if, if you're uh, not doing it as a profession. Um, you know, it, it does the job, uh, but it's not what you use every day. This is a professional punch down tool. So when you're doing patch panels and you're doing a lot of jacks, this is a type of punch down tool you would you would use. Um, this punch down tool comes with many or different blades. This one comes with only a 110 blade. And as you can see, this blade uh, has two ways you can put this in. This is a non-cutting side of the 110 punch down. Normally you would use one that has the little sharp edge there and it's on the cut side so when you punch down it cuts the excess cable off at the same time. You also have a storage compartment here on your punch down tool and what I keep in there is you turn the wheel and the thing drops out and what I keep in there is my 66 block uh, blade and this is a non-cutting side and that's a cutting side. What you do is you just train, change blades and now I can use this on a 66 block um, which is used basically for telephones and voice uh, cables 66 block. And again that's the storage you, you just stick it in there watch, you stick it in there you turn this and it drops down and then it holds it, doesn't come out. On this blade you also have a high and low impact setting and it's this uh, right here that tells you whether it's high or low and you just turn it, makes it higher, turn it, makes it lower. It's That's a preference to the person doing punch down. Let's punch down 110 here. The cutting side says cut. And take the cable This little string is used for stripping additional lengths off if you need additional lengths. I always do that, then cut off the part where I stripped it, or so in case I nicked the cable. Then you pull this back. I'm not going to be doing color code today, so I'm just going to show you how the wires. I go into a jack and demonstrate the two punch down tools. So, for those of you that install jacks, you're going to realize that I'm not exactly following color code procedure here. I'm just showing for demonstration purposes how a jack punches down. You would never leave this much space between the jack. Well, let's do it right. I'm going to keep the twist as tight as possible up to the punch down. Let's just do these two cables. Notice I'm just pressing them in there and they're staying. They're not really punched down yet because one of the things that you get the idea of punch down means you're pushing the cable down. So let's use this inexpensive punch down tool and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push the cable down. Are you following that right there cameraman? Okay, so I'm just going to push it down. You're not going to hear any noises or anything, it's just pushing it into that. And what that is, is it's a, two pieces of metal that are together and when the cable goes in the insulation gets stripped and it gets held there. Um, but notice these aren't cut. Now when I use a punch down tool, um, cable is, is cut at the same time it's punched down. So 
one side gets a very nice neat cut. You see that cut there? The other side, what you got to do is you got to cut it yourself. Not quite as neat. It sticks out a little bit more. This is very flush. But that's how the two different punch down tools work. If you're going to do it every day and you're going to do a lot of jacks and patch panels, this is what you want to use. This saves a lot of time. It's heavy, it's in, it's uh, commercial quality, it's not going to break. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're working on your own jacks at your house, you really don't need this. This, this will suffice. And even if you're doing a small job, this will suffice. I still keep these in my toolbox because I have great cutters on there. Either cutters are fine, but sometimes I use this. It's just nice to have it. And there's a quick demonstration on how to use punch down tools. We have other demos, uh, videos that show you how to uh, do the proper wiring for an RJ45 uh, Cat uh, 5E or in Cat 6, but uh, you would use the other two wires, of course. You use all four pairs for Ethernet. And uh, again, please buy the parts from us at cablesupply.com. Um, we, we have top quality parts. This is the parts that we use in our cabling business. And um, we warranty our cabling jobs at NOAA Voice and Data for 15 years. And uh, we have not had any problems with the products. We will not sell any products where we are having problems with them or the quality is questionable. We make our money um, and our profit based on volume, not on uh, a killing on one sale. So we keep the prices as low as possible. And uh, please don't hesitate to call us if you have any technical questions. Again, it's www.cablesupply.com.